Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Wedwars plugin. The Bedwars plugin is a minigame plugin which allows you for automatic game creations. It has an easy setup and has many features that are in the original Bedwars plugin. To install it, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab over here and type in Bedwars like so. It's with a similar icon to this one. If you can't find it here, I'll leave a link down in the description for the plugin page. Install the correct version that you need for your server and then restart it. I've also got multiverse set up as you can see, so that my Bedwars arenas are per world. You can set it up to be in the same world if you don't want multiple worlds. It's really up to you how you want to do it. You can even use something like Bungie Core to have your arenas set up per server. I've also got hologram displays installed to show off the holograms that this plugin supports. Another thing I've done is uploaded custom maps for my worlds. I'll link those in the description as well. Before I actually create an arena, I quickly want to show you how to create holograms. Type in slash bw add holo, and this will place a hologram where you stand. This hologram will display your stats, and if you want to remove it, just type in slash bw, remove holo, and then punch it. Now let's actually create our arena. I'm going to teleport to our arena world, and then type in slash bedwars admin, then the arena name, and then add. This will create a Bedwars arena for us, but the game doesn't know where the arena is. So fly to the bottom corner of the arena and type in slash Bedwars admin, then the arena name pause one. Now fly to the opposite top corner and type in slash Bedwars admin, then the arena name and pause two. Now we have the arena set up. Let's quickly set up the lobby and spectator spawn. Type in slash Bedwars admin arena name and then spec to set up the spectator spawn and then slash bed was admin arena name and then lobby to set the actual lobby. These spawns are going to be set up exactly where you're standing. So ensure that you stand in the correct place. We can now set up the resource spawners for our arena. To set them up, type in slash bed was admin the arena name and then spawner add and then either bronze, iron or gold, depending on which one you want to add. Again, these will be set up exactly where you stand. It's really up to you how many resource spawners you set up. It all depends on the shops, which we will set up right after this. This plugin allows you to create your own resources as well, which is done in the main config of this plugin. I'll show you that later. Okay, now that's done, let's set up the villager shops. Again, stand in the place where you want the shop to be and type in slash bedwars admin, the arena name, store, and then add. You can also create your own custom shops and different shops for different bedwars games but I won't be going through that in this tutorial. Check out the plugin page on how to do that or just join their Discord to get some support. The final part you need to do is create the actual teams. There are a couple commands for you to do that. First of all, to create the team, type in slash bedwars admin, then the arena name, team add, then the team name, then team color, and then the maximum players which are allowed to be in the team. For this, I'm going to set one. Then of course, you'll need to set up the spawn for the teams. Type in slash bedwars admin, arena name, then team, spawn, and then the team name. And that will set up their spawns wherever you're standing. Finally, let's set up the team beds. To do this, just look at the team bed at the top part of it, and then type in slash bedwars admin, the arena name, team bed, and then the team name. And that's all the basic stuff done. Now you have to make sure that there are at least two teams for this to work. So what I'm going to do now is set up another team the exactly the same way. Now that's done, type in slash bed was admin, then the arena name and then save. This will apply the changes and save your arena, which is now enabled for players to join. Let's say you want to make some quick changes to the arena. You can do this by typing slash bedwars admin, the arena name and then edit. And now you can make those changes. You can go ahead and make the changes to the settings that we've made earlier. Or you can change things like the arena time, the arena weather, how long the games last for, enable or disable boss bars and a bunch more. After you've finished making the modifications, save and apply the changes with the same command as before. However, before that we'll make some more changes. Let's make it so that when you choose a team, you actually have to right click an entity instead of the compass or whatever item you have set. Let's place two armor stands here. 
and then run a command slash bed was admin, the arena name, and then a join team, and then the team name. Then right click the armor stand for players to be able to join using these. As you can see the name changes color to indicate what team color it is, as well as having colored armor. You can do the exactly the same thing with mobs too, except that they won't be wearing any armor of course. Okay now let's go back to our hub world and set up some signs. To make a join sign, just place a sign down and then on the top line type in bed wars surrounded by square brackets and then on the second line type in the arena name. To make a leaf sign, on the top line you would write the same thing as before, which is bed wars surrounded by square brackets, and then on the second line you type in leave. And that's it. As you can see, they work very well. Now let's take a look at the config. Locate the config.yml in your plugins folder and here you can see everything that can be customized. Most of these options do what they say and are easy to understand, but I'll go over some of the more important ones. This option here changes whether the color of the armor stand changes depending on a team color. This option will change the spectators to the actual spectator mode. If you want to disable the compass to choose the teams, you can disable this option here. If you have this enabled, this will give a player a wall block in the lobby with whatever team color they choose. The spawner disable merge option disables the merging of multiple items on the ground. If your lobby is in a world that has mobs enabled, you can disable mobs spawning close to it by changing this radius here. You can change the resource spawner hologram option here. If you want to for example instantly kill players if they leave the arena while they're in game, set this option to true. Starting items can be enabled and customized here. When players are in a Bedwars game, they can't use commands, and if you want to enable that, put in the commands you want players to have access to in this list here. This setting below inverts this option. You can of course enable bungee cord. Farm blocks are blocks which can be mined. These also do not restore after the end of each game. You can enable vault, which means players are able to get in-game money per win or per kill. These here are the resources. You can add your own or customize them as you wish. This option here changes the player respawn protection. With this you can disable it or change the protection time. Below are the special items in the game. You can customize them as you wish. Game effects can be changed here. Right now there's only one which is activated when the game ends and these are the fireworks effect. Stats can be disabled if you wish or you can customize them however you like. If you want to use MySQL for example you can enable that here. Chat settings can be changed here. If for any reason you want to set up custom rewards which run certain commands then you can do that here. And that's about it for the important options. If you have any questions check out the plugin page or join their discord to get some support. In the shop.yml config you can customize the shop items however you like, add more or remove whatever ones you don't need. Again you can create custom shops but I won't be going through that in this tutorial. Apart from that I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions leave them down in the comments below and if you're having any issues with anything contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.